Hey everybody, it's Lon Sybin and it's time for another unboxing. I don't actually remember how this got to me because it just showed up in my mailbox the other day and I don't remember buying it or asking for it. So whoever sent this to me, uh, thank you. Uh, this is the Nest Pie case and this is for your Raspberry Pi and it's a little uh, mini NES inspired kind of thing. And we're gonna take a look at it right now. So there's a screwdriver they pack in here. And inside of here, is a little mini NES, a lot like the little uh, NES Mini that came out last year. And you've got uh, some Ethernet along with some USB ports in here. And then you also have uh, two more USB ports here. Uh, the power button, I believe, is a working power button, so they say. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so we'll explore how all this works. I'll probably do a video on this on my main channel, which you can find at lon.tv. In the back here, you've got USB power, and then you have an HDMI port and the audio output for uh, the Raspberry Pi. Now, this does not come with a Raspberry Pi. You have to supply your own, but let's open this thing up and see how all of it comes together. There's some screws in here. And what you do is you take your Raspberry Pi. I still have mine in its other case, so I'll have to dis uh, dislodge it from here. Uh, but you mount the Raspberry Pi in here, I believe, like so, so that the HDMI uh, lines up with the port there. Like I said, I'll build this on my main channel so you can see how all of it comes together. And then what'll happen here is you wanna run this uh, ethernet cable into uh, the ethernet port on the Raspberry Pi. And then they've got like a little uh, USB hub built into this. So you run this into one of the USB ports inside the case and you'll get those four USB ports as a result of that. And it looks like the power here is running back through this little uh, board here to the Raspberry Pi uh, as it's going there. So it looks like um, it is kind of rerouting things a little bit. I wonder if this USB port might introduce any additional lag, uh, given that it appears like there is a USB hub there. But uh, nonetheless, pretty cool little case. It actually feels uh, pretty well built. Uh, your SD card slot will line up here on the side, so you don't have to take the case apart every time you want to make a change to it. And they even made a little uh, compartment down here to store your micro SD card. So if you have a couple different things you want to boot from, uh, you can keep everything together here. So this is kind of a neat little case. I'm looking forward to uh, playing with this. Again, I don't know how it got here, but I want to thank whoever sent it to me. And I will uh, be doing a probably a full video on this on the main channel, which you'll find at lon.tv at some point in the near future. So stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.